Thanks for joining me. This is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on fractions of a foot. One thing you have to understand about a foot, as far as length of measure, is that it's made up of 12 inches. So basically, we'll be working with fractions that are made up of 12 or something that's equivalent to 12. So let's get started. Write two names for each fraction of a foot. You can draw on the rulers to help. So the example, they showed a shaded region and how they divided it up into sections so they could visualize what that shaded region might be. And it's this one shaded region of four would mean that you have one of four. So one fourth. And basically, I'm talking about this fraction here. The three twelfths, that one's pretty easy because your ruler's made up of 12 pieces already, 12 inches, and they shade it up to the three. So basically, you're just saying, three of the total 12, three twelfths shaded in. <clears throat> Hopefully twelfths is the easiest one with all these. So let's get started. This is at the four. So real quickly, you have four inches shaded in. Four out of how many inches total are in a foot? There's 12 inches in a foot, so four twelfths. That should be a real easy one to figure out. <coughs> now, you have to visualize <coughs> another fraction. So what I like to do is what the, the example shows you to do is to break it up into sections. So go every four. So four, and then another four would be eight, and then another four is 12. And is that equal sections? There's one, two, three. Well, yes, it is. And you could say one of the three sections is shaded in. If I were to box this in, that might help. And I can visualize that this one here is shaded in. That's one of the three is shaded in. And I would write that like this, one third. Let's look at B and C. So right away, B, <coughs> it's a six. Six out of how many inches are in a foot? Twelve. Should be that easy. All right. Now I'm going to try to create some equal sections or parts. And I'm going to do that. And then another six would get me to 12. So I broke it up into two equal parts. Here's one, here's two. And one of the two is shaded in. So it's one half. C, two. Two out of how many total inches are in a foot? There's 12 total inches in a foot, two twelfths. Now, go every two and put a line. Like that. And maybe you want to box it in. How many total parts or sections do you have that make it up? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then how many of those are shaded in? Well, one is down below it. So you're going to say one over six. Moving on, number two, shade the ruler to show each fraction of a foot. Then write another name for the fraction. You can draw lines to divide the rulers into equal parts. Let me give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and get started, though. Eight twelfths. Eight twelfths is right here, where the eight is. And it's out of 12. There's 12 inches in the whole foot. So every inch is a part. I have to visualize another fraction that equals this. Uh, 
So if I were to go every two inches, perhaps, that might be a way. And if I do this, and I'm going to do one more thing, I'm going to shade it in up to the eight. Well, first of all, before I do that, I'm sorry, how many equal parts is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm just going to shade it in. I have one, two, three, four out of six equal parts. Another fraction could be four, six. There are some other ones out there that you could discover, but that's one. And I just have to find one. So I'm good. B, 10 twelfths. So I'm going to find and locate 10 twelfths. It's right here. Okay, it's an even number. I like that because I can go every two if I need to. So I'm just going to put a line down every even number. The 2, the 4, the 6, the 8, the 10, and the 12. I'm going to box it in like that. I'm going to write the number of equal parts that I created. And I'm going to shade up until where that 10 is. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of how many parts? 6. 5, 6. <coughs> All right, another one. 12 twelfths. Okay, I have 12 twelfths. That means my ruler is completely filled. This whole thing's filled. You can basically come up with any fraction to equal that. I could cut this in half and have two parts here, and they're both completely filled. That'd be two halves. B, two six. Okay, that six means you got to break it up into six equal parts. All right. Well, I know that if I go every two inches, I should have six equal parts. So I'm going to start here and go every two inches to get six equal parts. I'm going to box it in. That helps me visualize it a little better. And do I have two equal parts? Or two. Do I have six equal parts? My mistake. I Okay, so I have six total parts. Now, I was talking about two earlier. I'm going to shade in two of those six equal parts in. So I'm hopefully clarified that confusion there. So 2, 6 is the same as 4 out of 12. So I'm going to write 4 twelfths. All right, 2 thirds. I need to break this thing up into thirds. What's 12 divided by 3? Oh, it's four, Mr. Knowles. So every four, I would have a, a section of the ruler. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to write the number of parts that I created. There's one, two, three. And now this top number, the numerator, I'm going to shade in two of the three. And then that will give me my answer. Two-thirds is the same as eight-twelfths. Eight out of twelve is the same as two-thirds. Move it on. <coughs> More fractions of a foot. Okay. Write the number of inches in each fraction of a foot. You can look at page 41 to help. Okay, I could do that. Or I, I put a ruler here just to help you see this. Half of a foot is equal to, so if I cut a foot in half, 
this is right here. This is half. How many inches? Six inches. All right. Done. B. One fourth of a foot is equal to. All right. I have to break it up into four equal pieces. Four equal pieces first. like four equal pieces to me. There's one, two, three, yep, four equal pieces. And I'm interested in one of the four. One of the four is right here. So how many inches is that? It's three inches. Let's see. One sixth. I'm going to break it up into six equal pieces. I believe if I go every two, I should be able to figure that out. One, this would be one six. This would be two six, three six, four six, five six, six six. And this one's asking for one six. It's equal to two inches. I'm gonna let you figure out D. <coughs> Excuse me. Two. Write the number of inches in each fraction of a foot. Use the rulers below and the information in the problem in problem one to help. Then circle the greater fraction in each pair. If they are equal, circle them both. Okay. So if I go to letter A. I'm going to show one third on the ruler on the left. I have to break that up into thirds first, into three equal parts. So I'm going to break it up into thirds, which is three equal pieces. And one third would be one of these. This is one third. Let's see if I can write that here. A little tight, but I can. Now, I'm going to draw one fourth. I have to break up this ruler into four equal parts. And one fourth is just one of these four pieces. I'm going to write that here. Okay. All right, so one third is four inches, and one fourth is three inches. And I have to circle which one's larger. Well, the one that's, this one's larger because it has four inches. I'll do one more. I'll erase this. I'll erase this. Two thirds. All right, so I'm going to break this up into thirds. And two of the three should be shaded in. One, two. This is two thirds. All right, now I'm going to do half. I'm going to do half. Well, that's pretty easy. That's right where the six is. Half of the ruler is right there. Shade that in. And this is half. Okay. Erase that. I might have to do a little erasing here. Oops. Just to see where things are. Excuse me. Two thirds was where that eight was, wasn't it? Eight. 
and one half was the six. Okay, so half is six inches. And two thirds is eight inches. Two thirds is longer, it's eight inches. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have you do the rest on your own. Yep, have you do the rest on your own. And if you are still in need of help, please ask me.